Hi everyone, Ms. Towner here. Last video I showed you guys basic enameling and enameling prep. So now I want to show you specific techniques that you can try out. Uh, the first that I'm going to start with is the stencil technique and that's one of my favorites and it's super easy to do. So what I started with was just one base layer of whatever color you want. Um, and I'm also, I found these like little zinc blanks and I realized that if you put these underneath what you're enameling on, it just helps to be able to pick up your enameling piece when you're done with the palette knife a little bit easier than if it's just on the paper. So I'm going to place those here and just have them like hanging over the edge just a little bit so that you can kind of catch it underneath with your palette knife. So I have one base color down and then I'm going to pick my stencil. So you can use a lot of different things for stenciling. I have like these different kind of cutouts. Um, you can use like confetti, all sorts of different things. You can get creative. Um, I also have these kind of plastic stencils. You can use these as well. So I'm going to go ahead and place my stencil down. I'm then going to pick my color. So I'm gonna do kind of a monochromatic color scheme with this one. I usually suggest doing like a high contrast with um, stenciling or anytime you're doing kind of two different colors. But these are two pretty different greens, so you sh they should work just fine. So I'm going to just sift it over in the area that I want it in. And then place that off to the side. And then the key here is to just really carefully lift up your stencil without sliding it around and moving it out of the way. So then I'm really carefully going to pick up my piece with my palette knife. I'm going to set it over on my grate and then it's ready to fire. So I have my stencil there. Um, that is the stencil technique. So you could um, do as many layers as you want. So I could fire this and then come back with another stencil and do like another layer with another color. And you can really, really build up some neat designs with just the stenciling alone. Um, the next one I'm going to show you is, let's see, it's graffito. Before I do that though, I want to clean up my space. And I want to make sure if I'm not using this enamel color again, that I get a new piece of paper so that I don't contaminate my enamels. So I'm just going to kind of funnel the, the paper together and then get it back in the container. Make sure the cap's on. And then I can move on to my next one. I'm going to switch colors and use a bitter green this time. So I'm really into the greens today. So I just flipped over my paper, um, or you can get a new one either way. Um, so for this one, actually, I think I'm going to use this one. So I'll do a pink background so it's a little bit more high contrast. So for this one, for Scurfito, uh, you're going to want to start same way as you did before. So you can put down a couple blanks and then do just one base color. Um, with Scurfito, your base color is going to be what your line ends up being. So I'll explain in a minute. And then the second color is going to be the color that's pretty much covering the rest of your surface. All right, I'm actually gonna redo that. Because a lot came out that time, there we go. Nice even layer. You don't want it too thick or it can crack or just look really cakey. Okay, so now the fun part is the scurfito. So you're basically just drawing in a design by scratching it away. So I'm just using a piece of wire here. Um, anything with like a tip to it would work. A tweezers would also work, anything like that. Um, but you're basically just scratching out the enamel. To show the color underneath. So if I wanted to do like a little bit of a wider line, I could grab a different tool. 
and like scratch a little bit more out. So then I'm exposing a little bit more of that pink color underneath. So this graffito is essentially just scratching that top layer away to show that underneath color. So this too you could do in multiple layers. Um, or you could do like a stencil first and then go back in into graffito that second layer. Um, lots of different ways that you can kind of mix up the different techniques that you're working on. So I did a pretty thick application. You could go a little thinner and maybe get better results. Um, but I think this is going to turn out pretty cool. So that is graffito. Just sifting on a second layer and then scratching that design through to show that first color. So that one's done. I'm going to carefully pick it up with my palette knife, transfer it over to my grate, and then that's ready for firing. So that is graffito. Um, next one I want to show you is layering. So layering is kind of similar, well at least the first part is similar to graffito. So you're going to add a second layer, but you're not necessarily scratching back into it. Alright, and I'm going to get a new piece of paper. I'm putting a new piece of paper down, putting my blanks down. Um, we'll, we'll stick with the pink. All right, so layering is kind of fun because you can just like color block. Um, so say I wanted like the top part of my design to be pink, but I want um, the bottom part to be like a green. So I'd block off the top part. And then just sift the green on to the bottom. Then, just kind of like the stencil, you're just carefully picking it up. And then you would fire that, and then you could come back and maybe do another one where you maybe do like another color block with another color. So you could layer it over and over and over to get multiple colors. Um, so that's layering. Again, this is really the basic because I'm just doing like two layers at first. But like I said, you could come back and like add as many layers as you like. Um, with this one, I'm also going to throw on some metal sprinkles to show you. Um, so you guys should have a container that, like this with a bunch of like little metal, um, they're almost like, it's almost like little metal wire, so it's not bendable. Um, so you can place these kind of strategically to make a design, or you can just kind of throw them on and um, have it be more random. So I'm going to use the white. I'm going to place it on a little bit more strategically. And then once these get fired, they just fuse right to your metal. So there's all different colors. I'm going to do kind of like a, a geometric look. Of course, I grabbed the worst tweezers to try this out with. So then if you wanted kind of like a really skinny line or I've even seen people do like flowers so you could do like stems here 
um, like the metal part is like a stem and then you could do like a flower stencil up top. So you can mix the different techniques together to create kind of a fun little design. Um, all right, so with that, so that's just the metal sprinkles. You just literally set them on top and then fire them. Easy peasy. Um, and then the last technique I wanna show was actually something that I showed in the really basic enamel video. Um, and that is the enamel over textured metal. So I'm not gonna demo it because I did show it in that first video. Um, but what you're gonna do is you just take a metal blank and you can either put it through the roll mill to get the texture you want, or you can uh, stamp it or chafe it to get um, like the hammered texture. And then you would want to use a transparent enamel. So that part is really important. Um, so the transparent enamels are more see-through than the opaque enamels. So they're all labeled, um, so you can tell the difference. And that's really all there is to it with the, um, for enameling over textured metal. So you just sand it with 220, texture it, uh, then put the enamel, the t uh, transparent enamel over it, and then go ahead and fire it. And this is the result. Okay, so you get that kind of fun different texture. So those are one, two, three, four, I guess five main enamel techniques. Um, like I said before though, feel free to mix them together, try, you know, try stenciling with graffito, try layering with stenciling. Um, so there's a lot of different kind of combinations that you can do to get some really fun results with color. Alright guys, good luck! <laughs>